The adoption of artificial intelligence across our daily lives and across numerous industries just feels inevitable. And it's definitely a tool that can help enhance certain processes, or in the case of gaming, can do things like, you know, DLSS or AMD FSR, where a lot of the heavy lifting graphics wise can be done by artificial intelligence, allowing us to get better performance. They're good uses of AI. On the other side of things, when it comes to like trying to replace artists with artificial intelligence, and when that artificial intelligence is using other people's work, a pool of other people's work to generate those images, that's when, like ethically speaking, we're in murky territory. But the technology itself is cool when used properly, when used ethically, it can pave the road to some really cool ideas like this one right here from Square Enix. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Portopia serial murder case. It's this visual novel demo that aims to showcase the artificial intelligence technology known as natural language processing, where you essentially can type things and give prompts to the game, and the game ideally will recognize those prompts, interpret them properly, and allow for essentially flexibility in input from people who are playing visual novels where they have to type in what they want to do, what they want to say, and whatnot. And so this is the trailer. This is what it's supposed to look like, how it's supposed to work. It's definitely a very interesting concept. You can see right here, search the bartender. And the AI is supposed to very clearly know what that means and allow for people to have sort of more genuine feeling conversations with characters or be able to input prompts without having to search for the exact wording. The AI just kind of knows what you want to say and is able to interpret that into the necessary input to progress further into this visual novel. That's the idea. I think that's one of those like good use cases of AI as long as it works properly. And that's where the issue lies with this game. So right here, you can see the Steam listing for Screen X AI Tech Preview, the Portopia serial murder case. The review score is currently sitting at a whopping very negative. Hovering over to the score itself, you can see that only 11% of people who've tried this have given it a positive review, whereas 89% have given it a negative review score. This, by the way, makes it one of the worst, if not the worst rated game on Steam ever. According to Hall of Shame, the closest thing to it is the 15% upvote ratio that War of the Three Kingdoms received. That is 85% of reviews being negative, whereas this game from Square Enix, this free game, is at 89% negative. And reading through the reviews, you'll find exactly why that is. The AI technology that's supposed to make it easier for people to interact with the game by inputting commands or by inputting dialogue and whatnot, it just doesn't work. The thing that it's supposed to solve with older versions of these types of games where if you don't input something exactly, then you're not going to be able to progress even though you know what the solution is. You're just trying to find a way for the game to recognize that you know what the solution is. Like this is supposed to resolve that, but with this game, it's just about as bad, if not worse, than uh, those kinds of games from the past. You do have to input commands and prompts very precisely, which is why people are not recommending this game. So here is a top rated review. AI, bro, this is at best a linear visual novel where the options are fixed and we have to guess what are the options. The artificial intelligence just does not recognize recognize context. It does not recognize what we're trying to say, even if our wording isn't precise. So it defeats the whole purpose of this tech demo. Let me explain my experience in like 15 minutes. Learn about a murder, met up with the junior detective. He gives a breakdown of the events, who was murdered, who found him, etc. So these are the prompts I tried. Now there's a joke one here, lick the victim. This one's kind of silly, but things like, who are you? That's a very simple prompt that should hopefully result in the character just kind of detailing who they are, a little bit of their backstory, their profession or whatever. But the response that the user got was, maybe we should focus on the task at hand. Okay, then tell me about the victim. Some old man, no criminal records, a known shark. Okay, that worked pretty well. But when inputting the prompt, what type of shark, the answer provided was a default piece of dialogue that's given when the game doesn't know what the player is saying. It was just a, hmm. Okay, so what type of enemies did he have? Another simple prompt that should result in information given to the players, given, you know, you're solving a murder mystery. Some old man, no criminal records, a known shark, basically uh, repeats the same dialogue as 
you know, tell me about the victim and does not actually tell you about who the enemies are. The intelligence of this AI is just, I mean, to call it AI is almost generous. When trying to ask who are his enemies, no response. It just feels like they really didn't think this tech demo through. Where is the victim? The response given was the same one as for the prompt, tell me about the victim and what type of enemies did he have? Repeating, some old man, no criminal records, a known shark. Uh, so yeah, you get the idea at this point, and plenty of people are reporting something similar. Here's another silly situation where the AI just has no idea what the player is trying to ask for, even though the prompts here are pretty clear and self-explanatory. Let's go to the port. I'm not sure what to say about that. Let's go to the Kobe port. I'm not sure what to say about that. Go to Kobe port. You know, this player is just trying different variations of go to the port and getting the same response. And then when the player says go to Nagisa apartment, something unrelated to the port, the NPC said, I don't know where that is, but let's go to the port first, which is what the player has been suggesting all along. It's just extremely silly. Various media outlets have picked up on this because, again, the concept behind the application of AI in this use case is, I think, compelling but if it doesn't work, then, you know, it just makes a very bad case for the implementation of AI. So here is PC Gamer who released an article titled Square Enix's free AI tech preview has a Steam user rating of very negative and deserves it. This PC Gamer editor tried the game out for himself and came away with similar results as the Steam review. So here are some of the highlights of this article. The original 1983 game was a significant influence on visual novels and graphical adventures in Japan. That's another thing about this game. It's a... Uh, a historically known IP within the niche group who, you know, have followed adventure games or visual novels, which makes it a shame that this was tarnished by such a bad tech preview of AI. And you can see that the comments have been turned off, the likes to dislikes ratio have been disabled because the feedback has just been that overwhelmingly negative because the game just doesn't work. The 2023 version, unfortunately, doesn't seem to have the same effect as the 1983 version. As Screenix put it, this is Screenix's description of what this game's supposed to do. One common source of frustration, players knowing what action they wanted to perform but being unable to do so because they could not find the right wording. This problem was caused by the limitations of PC performance and NLP technology of the time. NLP standing for natural language processing. This AI tech preview version of Portopia is promising to solve that with the latest in natural language understanding with the use of AI. Here's how Screenix describes the implementation of natural language understanding. In order to interact with computers using natural language, the computer needs to understand what its human partner is trying to tell it, regardless of the wording they choose. Natural language understanding is an area of NLP research that aims to make computers correctly understand natural language, where the meaning can often be ambiguous. In this tech preview, NLU is used to help the junior detective understand the player's instructions, except, again, the game does absolutely no such thing. Not being able to comprehend the simplest of prompts, the simplest of input from players that are very clear when you read it, which is why PC Gamer reports that you should get used to seeing Yasu, the NPC who you interact with, reply with, I'm not sure what to say about that. Maybe we should focus on the task at hand and, hmm, basically three pieces of dialogue that play when the game has no idea what you're trying to say. Here's a specific example provided by PC Gamer where they're trying to investigate a bar connected to this character's death and they tried everything from question bartender to talk to bartender to ask about murder to ask bartender about murder. But the very specific wording that needed to be typed in order for this to work was ask about Kozo. There was another instance where where this editor wanted to confront an NPC with evidence and typed a number of different things like show photograph, show photograph to bartender, show photograph of Kozo to bartender. And the response that they kept getting was the default, maybe we should focus on the task at hand. And when they looked up exactly what they needed to type, it was just the most elaborate, very specific prompt. It reads right here, the thing that he had to type was, show the photograph of Kozo Yamakawa to the bartender. If that's the level of specificity and precision required when it comes to player input, then clearly this AI technology is absolutely not ready and needs a lot more time in the oven. If you're going to release a tech demo, you know, you, you got to show on some level that it works. It's got to be on some level impressive. All this does is put a stain on this technology. Uh, I'm sure this technology will evolve and develop over time. I think it will eventually come to a point where visual novels like these will be improved by the AI's ability to actually properly interpret what the player is trying to say. But... Currently, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. The game also apparently can't tell the difference between words like light and lighter that are very similar. And the game also thinks that two identical sentences 
are not 100% similar, but 98.4% similar. The game declared that the input asked about Kawamura was only 98.4% similar to the identical sentence asked about Kawamura. Now, at one point, this game wasn't just supposed to have the ability for the game to interpret players' inputs, which it does very poorly, but also for NPCs to give these dynamic responses based on what players input and the wording that players choose. This tech preview originally included a function based on natural language generation technology, but the AI division of the company behind this AI tech was concerned that it could result in the game and its characters, the AI, generating unethical replies to certain types of player prompts. The thing is, when the game can't even interpret the player prompts properly, even the simplest ones, I imagine that this is a technology that wouldn't have worked on the flip side of things, where NPCs would have replied with just absolute nonsense, just completely unable to read exactly what the players are trying to say. Now, with all that said, I do think it's cool that game developers are already thinking of ways to apply AI in a way that makes sense, in a way that's ethical, and in a way that could improve certain games or genre of games like visual novels. I think AI could play a role within certain limits. And so I think that once this idea is fleshed out and once we're given an impressive tech demo, we'll see its potential. But for now, the technology is clearly just way too early on in development. And I imagine we might have to wait like a year or two before this is fleshed out. Hopefully, this is something that Square Enix can update with a patch that will yield better results in the future and really shows the potential of what something like this could do for these types of games, adventure games, visual novels, because right now all they have done is uh, demonstrate why AI is not viable for these kinds of game in its current stage. Well, at the very least, that's one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the Portopia serial murder case. And if you've played it, what's your experience been like with its uh, AI input registration? And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.